Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Timothy Adan. Um, I am a composer and sound designer freelance for games. And I have been working on my own personal project. This one right here. Ignore the name. I forgot to change it when I created the project. Um, and I've been, I, I've been creating that project as a way to learn WISE integration with the Unreal Engine. And I can go into why I'm doing that because it's a bit of a longer story, but I'm not gonna because that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is that during my travels of doing so, uh, travels, um, I found that there is there are actually very few resources that are that are easy to parse out. I should say uh, when it comes to doing this, and it makes learning this a very long process. Um, I've I've played around with Wise before and have taken classes for it, and I've played around with Unreal before, but doing both at the same time, there aren't many people talking about it. I'm doing this as a way so that other people can find this and know what I ended up having to go through so that hopefully they can go through it a bit faster. Um, I'm going to start a brand new project to do the initial setup. Uh, of how you connect wise to your project. I'm going to go no starter content because that's not really necessary. Um, all of this is fine. Blank. We're going to create a project. So we have this project open. The next thing that's necessary, and actually what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save this. Hopefully. Boop. Save. We're going to close this for now, now that we've got the project created. We're going to open up the WISE launcher. Later. Go to Unreal Engine. So you're going to go, you're going to go browse for a project to sync with. And in this case, I'm going to My Project 2 because I, again, forgot to name the project. Woe is me. You're going to find the project file, the Unreal project file, hit open. It is going to ask you if you want to integrate it. You will hit yes. And then it's going to try to get you to figure out all this information. I'm using Unreal 4.16, so we're going to do that. Um, and you just want to go through all the drop-down menus and make sure that everything makes sense. Copy of Wise SDK files, yes, yes, yes. Um, since I've already done a lot of this, there are like ex a couple extra steps if you're doing this for the first time. Um, mostly like making sure that the wise version that you're using is correct, making sure that the Unreal version is is fine, and making sure that all you have all the proper files downloaded for Wise in order to make this work. And it'll tell you all of that right here. Uh, wise project path. I don't have one yet. That's why I'm doing this. And then integrate. And so it's going to take a moment. It's going to uh, integrate as a plugin to your Unreal project. There we go. Um, so now if you click open in WISE, it'll open up a WISE project specifically for this Unreal. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And that's over on my other screen over here. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so now that we've got that, we're going to go back over here. We're going to launch Unreal. Now that we have this in here, we need to figure out a way to get the sound banks and events from here into here. And in order to do that, I'm just going to quickly uh, uh, quickly create some events that'll make some stupid rudimentary noise or something like that. Just give me one moment. So I've got this. Let us create a new event. Play event. We'll just say shoot. And then we'll just drag this into there. And then we'll just have that be the only sound for right now. So let's go to the sound bank. Uh, new sound bank and call it main sound bank. Make sure that you know what the names are and that they're going to be easy for you to remember and type because that's going to be important later. And then in the main sound bank, we're going to put the shoot event in here. We're going to save. 
I'm going to say Windows in English, and then we're going to generate. So we've generated the sound bank over here. So over here, we need to get that sound bank into the into the engine. So we are going to go to audio, the audio kinetic tab and put an audio kinetic bank. And then you have to name that bank exactly what the sound bank is in your WISE project. So main underscore sound bank. And then we generate banks. And save for good measure. And also for good measure, refresh. You're going to be hitting that a lot. At least that's what I do anyways. So now that the sound bank is generated, in theory, when you go to your wise picker here, there is the shoot event, which you can now drag into your project as such. When, and what is very important is that when you pull your events into here, you need to assign it to a sound bank in the engine. That way, when the engine look, goes to look for it, it knows where to look. And right now, we've only got the one choice at the moment. And just in case anything messed up, we are going to refresh and generate. I do that a lot because some things don't update when you, when, if you don't do that. So now, now that you've got this in here, you can throw this event just into your world. Oops. And as long as you have a script that, uh, that calls this up, it'll do whatever thing you need it to do. So let's get, let's delete that so that I can try and put a thing in here. Let's just say a cube. Why not? Okay, so we're going to create a blueprint for the script, or for the, for the cube. And I'm going to do something really basic. Actor begin overlap. Actor post event. Shoot. And over here... We are going to add a component, AK, and we're going to call it shoot. Okay, so what I have here is a white cube with a AK component hidden inside the cube and a box collider wrapped around, also, also wrapped around said cube. And then on overlap, it'll play the shoot event with a reference to self. Actually, I'm going to test something. I'm going to get rid of the reference to self. Okay, that's what I thought. So I'm still figuring this out myself. So you have to have a reference to the thing that is going to be playing. Oops, help if I spell self right. In order to make that work. And just in case when attached is destroyed, it will stop playing. So that is all compiled. We shall play. Pew! 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 And there you go. Very basic. Um, now you can get events to play. You can also, if you wanted to, um, as I was playing around with this box, simply uh, create an empty blank object. Actually, let's get rid of that. Just create a little blueprint, call it boom. And you can just throw in an AK component. Shoot. And this is going to be not visible, but you can still put a collider on it. We'll say a sphere collider.
Oops. Same thing. Big in overlap. Audio kinetic. Actor. Post event. Shoot. Reference yourself. Stop or destroy. Compile. And then we can throw that someplace where I might remember where it is. Maybe like right in front of the uh, cube. Ah, uh, yeah, it's right there. There you go. And that is the basic um, how to integrate it into Unreal and then quickly start getting sounds to work in the engine. Uh, the next video, which I'll probably be doing very soon, is how to do attenuation in RTPCs because that took me forever to figure out how it works in Unreal. Uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, feel free to comment or send me a message or what have you. Um, and I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.